Hey guys, um, first of all I'd like to thank you for watching my video and I hope that this will help you. So I am a Core 2 Duo user and I'm on Windows 8 as well, 64-bit. So my computer is kind of old but I do, I still love video editing and I do manage to get by on, even though my computer is kind of old and slow, I do manage to get by by doing the following things. So. Um, First of all, I'd like to talk about the uh, video preview. It doesn't matter, um, hold on, let me just get here. Yeah, okay, fine. Well, for the, vid for the video preview, it doesn't matter, um, I mean, it doesn't matter where this is once you render your video, even if it's at best full or at draft quarter, right? It's not going to make a difference with the outcome the result of your video after you render it. It's just for the preview so you can if you so that um, um you're able to see things clearly or if you um if you can't put it on best full or even good because your computer is so old it will lag and FPS lag like crap. Then of course put it on draft so it's easier for you to manage. Like see this is very smooth. So no problems there, right? But for users like you and me who have old computers which are very slow and can't handle best full, it will be like this. So yeah, it's pretty nice, but as you can see, it's pretty laggy. But okay. So I'm going to give you some tips on what you should do and when you should use best full and draft. So yeah, you should use draft all the time, especially if you are FPS lagging while you're editing. And of course, it would be a hassle to keep it in best full when you're editing all the time and everything's lagging and FPS lagging like crap. It's a waste of time. So stick to draft half, draft full or draft quarter. Anyway, stick to one of the draft stuff. Um, when you're editing, and let's say you want to put two things like these together, um, like I want to put Dance with Garrus and Mass Effect Three C Effect ah, Mass Effect Three Citadel on the same line. So, as you can see from here, it's pretty much on the same level. But don't be fooled. In draft, things are literally draft. So it's not as accurate as you think they are. Maybe it's a little bit okay. Maybe this on the left is a little higher than this, and but it's pretty much at the same height. But don't be fooled by that. You always should check if your, um, for example, this is just an example, okay? So check if these two things are on the same level so by going to best full. See, and so now you see the positions have changed a bit. They have gotten a little bigger. The quality has gotten better. Um, they've gotten bigger as well. So I'm just going to do before and after so that you can clearly see the difference. So this is before. As you can see, the words moved up quite a bit. Everything's become a lot more blurred, the quality isn't as good. And now that if I do best full, everything becomes much clearer and it's moved down a bit. So it's not that accurate. If I want both of these on the same level and on the line and not touching the line, then I need to go in and edit that. Okay, fix that by moving it up a bit with my arrow, just pressing my down arrow to move it up. Yes, it's the opposite when you open it up. Here, I mean, like, if you want it, if you want to go up, you have to press down, and if you want to go down, you have to press up. Okay, so now they're on the same level, so that, so that when I render my video, it's gonna look nice and neat, and it's gonna be on the same level. So if you're a professionist like me, then yeah, you will love to do that. Okay, so that's one tip I have to give you. So it doesn't matter if you've left it on draft. And you want to render it because it's not going to affect your end result. You don't have to worry about that. Just worry about the editing process because it's already going to take up a lot of your time, especially if it's a very long video and you have to keep editing things and stuff like that. So, okay, another tip. Okay, um, if you, okay, if there is something called a ghosting effect. Um, it's where, I'm sure you've seen it a lot, um, it's where like if you're, especially for fast gameplay and stuff like that, 
you'll see um, trailing after images. That means you see like ghosts of an image or something. And you don't want that because it's kind of messy, it's dizzy, it's not nice to see, you know, things like that. So to remove them, you should do this. Um, the easier way, okay, there's actually another way to do this, but I'm going to show you the easier way. Especially if you have a lot of video clips together like this that you need to edit. I'll just ignore the media offline stuff. I deleted my videos, no space on my computer. Um, click the first video clip you have. Note the first video clip. Do not touch your auto clips. Okay, so all my video clips here are on track 5. So what I would do is um, I would click the first video clip. Then I would go to the last one. I can just drag my bar like this so that's easier to zoom in at the end. Okay, then hold shift and click that. I only have one more video up here so I'm gonna control and click that. So now I have selected all my video clips, all my video files and none of my audio files. So in order to remove any ghosting effect you need to right click, go to switches and disable resample. This will cause your videos to be a lot smoother, things are faster and you will not have a ghosting effect. Okay, um, what else? Mm, yeah, okay. Like what I was doing earlier, these are grids that help you, um, for me, I use the grid to uh, actually um, measure things, make sure they're on the same level, they're equal and stuff like that, so that, you know, things are consistent throughout my video. So for example, each time I show the scene in this game, I use this grid to measure and make sure they're on the same level. But of course, ignore that. I was just using this as an example. Um, yeah, so you can use this grid to uh, you know, measure and make sure that all your um, lines and titles and whatever you want to do are on the same level. Or if you want to make videos smaller like this, um, for, wait, let me show you something. Um, for example, if you want to make two smaller videos and you want them to be side by side and you want them to be of the same size, you could even do this. Um, just drag it outwards like this to make it smaller. Of course, you can't see it. You can't see this video now because this are the videos on top and it's blocking. But if I were to mute this track, then you would be able to see the smaller video. See? Now you can see it's much smaller much smaller and I want them to be the same size so I'm going to make it this small okay note that I have this locked here so it's going to maintain the aspect ratio but if I want it to um, if I want it to um, freely move around and change the size like this of course I don't think you want to do this but if you want to do that go ahead and do that but make sure you always have this on if you want to maintain the video size Okay, so I'm going to make it around this small. And I want it to be, let's say, I want it to be around, um, I want it to be around here. Okay, and then I can use my other video and do the same thing. Click on the focus, just click on it once. Hold the corner, hold shift and drag it outwards. And then shift it around. Make sure you're on, the, you're on the same level and same size. So now I have two scenes playing at the same time and they are the same size as well. So One of me is even better. Hmm. Yeah, so if you want to show four clips at a time, for example, those who are um, mu musicians and who want to um, put a collaboration of instruments together like drums plus guitar plus electric guitar, then yeah, you could do something like this as well, uh, split screens basically putting multiple clips on one video screen. I did um, put a tutorial on that, a very um, detailed one on that. I made one on that like a, like quite a number of months ago. You can go check it out. I'll leave it in the description box for you guys. Okay, and the last tip I have for you guys is that, um, okay, your, your rendering settings. These are my rendering settings, so Yeah, I called it best rendering settings. So what I chose was um, the Windows Media V11. 
the last thing. Wait, hold on. I don't know. Wait, hold on. Um, yeah. Um, I chose Windows Media V11 and I went for 8 Mbps HD 1080 30p video, which is the best thing you can get. Um, and then I customize it. Don't just stop there. Yeah, you should go in and customize it and make the best out of, of out of that. Okay, and okay, just go to video and well, 1440 by 1080. I don't really want that because on YouTube I want a full screen. I don't want any black bars to the sides. I want it to be completely full. So what I would do is I would go to my video tab, go to image size, click on custom, change this to 1920 by 1080. Okay, and um, I would put this at square. And do not bother changing the frame rate because even if you put this at 60 FPS, it doesn't really matter because YouTube would cap down your frame rate to 30 FPS anyway. And of course, max out the video smoothness to 100. And for bit rate, I put this at 10M. But um, if you have a better computer, then it's up to you if you want to have different settings and stuff like that. And for index and summary, um, that's not important. Okay, and um, mm, for the video rendering quality, I put it at best. Yeah, and I use project settings for that. So click OK, and if you don't want to keep scrolling through everything, and if you don't want to keep changing settings every time, just make sure to abuse the little star, is to mark a favorite. So, yeah. Well, other than that, you can also name the template. My best rendering template. Yeah. Okay. And if you don't want to see all a bunch of, lots of uh, all these things, then just um, show favorites only and you can use it every time you render a project and you don't have to keep um, entering the settings er every single time so yeah well, I don't need that so I'm gonna yeah I'm just gonna leave it alone for now so yeah render in those settings and also make sure that well there are two sets of um, settings actually one are rendering settings which are pretty important and the second one is the project properties so yeah, these are my project properties. I custom to 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS, well 29.970 is almost 30, which is the same. Um, I set my video to 1920 by 1080, which is the maximum size I can get. Field order to non-progressive scan. Pixel aspect ratio to 1.00000 square. And frame rate 30 fps ntsc and yeah best and gaussian and blend fields i will talk about the 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 interlace method in another video but for now i'll just handle other things um audio make sure you set it to best of course you want your video to have the best quality and stuff so make sure you do that and make sure to start all new projects with these settings so that you don't want to keep doing it again and again and again Click OK, then render it. And also, if you are, if you've been using, okay, if you are someone who renders in, um, what is it called? Where is it? Um, let me look for it. Uh, if you render in main concept AVC, AAC, MP4, don't do that. Cause I used to do it a lot, and I made a big mistake. Um, all my videos appeared darker than they should have, especially when I went for the Blu-ray 1920 by 1080 60i. Yeah, it made my videos look a lot darker than it should have, and I've recently I switched over to Windows Media V11. You can use that, or you can use um. Uh, well, usually I will use. I'm using this now, but sorry, I used to use this, not that one. Please ignore what I said earlier. Um, I used this and. I stuck to um, this Blu-ray 1920 by 1080 24p, and it made my videos really really dark. So don't use Sony AVC Blu-ray 1920 by 1080 24p unless you're planning to make your videos look darker. But yeah, I don't think that most of you would plan to do that. Okay, I guess that's all I have to say for this. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to um, comment down below. I'm always free to help and I will always reply you within um, 24 hours. Um, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching this video.